Hi, welcome to Cheeky Richards, how to make creamed honey using only technically one ingredient, but it is in fact two. We have some creamed honey here. Now creamed honey naturally has tiny, tiny little crystals in it. It's not the hard crystals you get when your honey gets candied when it's in the fridge. These ones here are really, really soft and silky and smooth and they feel like velvet on your tongue. It's also very warm here today and this honey would spread without running off your breath. So that's another advantage of it. If you already have candied honey, you're going to have to melt it to get rid of the candied crystals because they are too large and use creamed honey. This is what they call the seed and what you do is you add the creamed honey to the fresh honey and this is the difference. We're just going to use the Thermomix but you could use a mix master or a hand beater if you like. This is normal honey and you see how runny that is? There's no way that I can hold that on that spatula. So we're just going to add our creamed honey. So we've got a kilo of runny honey, nice tasting honey and we've got 100 grams of our creamed honey and we're just going to mix that up it's not aerated, it's actually just mixed so that all the little crystals turn the remaining honey in that jug into creamed honey, which is heaps cheaper because it goes from being like seven or eight dollars a kilo. Your creamed honey is like nearly twenty dollars a kilo. You can get your nice local honey for less than half of that. So we pop the lid on now and we're just going to mix it till it's well combined. Pop it in a cool dry place for about a week and you can store this in the fridge. That honey is the only food known to man that doesn't spoil. Apparently they got some of this stuff out of the pyramids and you can just put it on your bread. <laughs> So we're going to just mix this until it's well combined. You don't have to heat it. You don't have to whiz it up or anything like that. Once it's just well combined, we're going to put it into a jar and put it into a cool, dry place. Okay, speed four for 30 seconds and this is what you should have. It's completely mixed now. We're just going to tip this into a container and put it in a cool, dark place and it'll actually be almost sliceable in a couple of days time. Okay, now we just pour our honey into a jar and put it to one side to do its magic. And don't worry about washing this jug, throw a banana in there with some yogurt, some ice cubes and you've got yourself a gorgeous banana smoothie. Okay, there we have a great big jar of creamed honey. Well, it will be in a couple of days time. And just pop the lid on that and put it in a cool dark place. My home creamed honey. This is our first taste test of it. Look at that, you can actually slice it. It's soft and creamy and velvety. It's not going to run off our crumpets, it's just going to disappear into those little hills and valleys. And look at that. Cheeky Richos creamed honey. Hope you give this a try. If you'd like to see more interesting recipes and ideas, just check out our Cheeky Richo channel and don't forget to please subscribe. And do come back and visit us again soon. We have so much more to show you and we're uploading lots of videos every week. Now look at that. They're on piping hot crumpets. You saw the butter melt into them and now the honey isn't going anywhere and it's just so, so, so luscious. Mm, 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 mm. Thanks for watching. Come here, honey. <laughs> it's gorgeous.